By the end of this video, you will have experienced the drive from Whistler Village, past Creekside, into Bay Shores, and to the start of Cadenwood Drive. Now from there, it's another video for you to experience the five minute drive up Cadenwood Drive. And uh, then from there, it's a third video for you actually to have a driving tour through Cadenwood. And all of those videos will be attached on to the end of this one in a playlist. Hello, my name is Marian Anderson, and I help people buy ski in, ski out real estate in Whistler. And Cadenwood is one of the locations which fits the needs of those who are looking for a very large house, over 5,000 square feet and up to and beyond 10,000 square feet. But it has to be ski in, ski out. And that's what Cadenwood offers. One of the first questions I'm asked from those who are seriously considering Cadenwood is, how far away is Cadenwood from Whistler Village? How long does it take to get to the, from the village to Cadenwood? Now, when I tell them that it's a five minute drive from the village to the start of Cadenwood Drive, and then it's another five minute drive up to the entrance of Cadenwood, they are sometimes a little skeptical that Cadenwood is only a 10 minute drive away from all the action of Whistler Village. So this is me driving along Highway 99. Brio is on the left hand side and that's how you'd access Sunridge through Brio. Another video is on my website for that. We've just passed the entrance to Blueberry Drive on the right hand side and we keep going forward now until we get to Creekside. Now, if you've just come across this video and you're starting your search, have a look at my website, Whistler Ski In, Ski Out. And that website is loaded with information on Cadenwood and other Ski In, Ski Out areas. But the Cadenwood page is loaded with videos and information to help you determine whether Cadenwood fits your needs. And it's a good place. My website's a great place to start your research before you give me a call. So coming up on the left hand side is the entrance into Nordic. And um, we're just going to keep zooming along here until we get to Creekside. The valley trail system which runs throughout Whistler is also an excellent way to get from Creekside into Whistler Village. So at that stage, you might use the uh, Cadenwood gondola to download your bikes. Or if you're really quite bold, you might just mountain bike down Whistler Mountain. And then once you're at Creekside, you get onto the valley trail system and it will take you a very nice path, um, no traffic involved at that stage, from Creekside into Whistler Village. Now, how long does that take on a bike? Well, it depends how fast you're going, but I would say probably half an hour. And we know we're at Creekside because straight ahead is Whistler Mountain and the Dave Murray downhill. So here we are. Now at Creekside, there is a fabulous grocery store. It's where I get my groceries. And um, they also is a liquor store. Uh, there's a ski school. There's coffee shops. And Creekside has many restaurants that are within easy walking distance if you were going to sort of take the gondola down and then walk around Creekside. So there's, a, there's quite a lot here, actually. But we're going to buzz through Creekside and um, the next stop will be heading into Bay Shores and up the road to the entrance of Cadenwood Drive. So now we're turning off Highway 99 and into Bay Shorts.
So if you think I'd be a good fit to work with you and your family, please give me a call. I'd be very happy to hear from you. And I'd also be very happy to tell you all about Cadenwood. Thank you for watching.